Today on the Best Ever Food Review Show, we're going on another fun food adventure. This time, we are in Digos on Mindanao in the Philippines for some delicious porkiness that you have never seen before. Lechon is one of the most iconic foods in the Philippines. Every time I'm here, I make a point to try it. In Cebu City, I witnessed the roasting firsthand at Rico's Lechon, feasting with Rico himself. It's a fiesta in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> in Bohol, I got to see how they roast lechon in the province for a fiesta. Oh man, my ADD is really kicking in right now. This takes a lot of focus. In Palawan, we plopped a lechon on our boodle fight like a cherry on a sundae. Oh, that is ridiculous. <laughs> but today, we're headed outside of Davao City to Digos, where a small home run operation is cranking out some of the most unique lechon on this archipelago. What they've done here, it's something masterful and something genius. They've brought it to the next level. Today, we'll be witness to the creation of seafood stuffed lechon. This is like the most ultimate bacon wrapped shrimp you could have. We're wrapping this shrimp with a whole pig. And a chicken stuffed lechon. It's like you're replacing its lungs with chickens is what it looks it's like. Fine. So get your bibs, grab a friend, and let's get ready to feast. This I'm with my man, Brand. We're headed to his house right now to see exactly how he makes it. And I'm gonna keep surfing in the pig carrier. Brand's native lechon. For the last two years, Brand has been roasting up the goods, basically from his backyard deep in the province. He has all the usual suspects on his porky menu, but we're not here for anything usual. Here we have the pig in question. How'd you come up with this idea? This is my favorite. I decided to join my favorite inside the pig. So I'll try one and then I taste it. it's good. That's awesome, man. I love any kind of like extreme creative food innovation. We're gonna start with the chicken. Oh, so we're not yeah. playing around. It's like you're replacing its lungs with chickens, is what it's it looks like. One. Does the pork taste more like chicken, or does the chicken taste more like pork? The chicken tastes like pork. This is crazy. This is some next level inception food creation. The lemongrass. Lemongrass. Onion leaf, and then the secret ingredients. No? Well, yeah. hold on, guys. I can tell you. This is uh, it's a calamansi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's bell pepper. It's yeah. onion. That's a secret. Anybody watching, don't tell anybody. The young corn. I've never had it with the corn inside. The seafood lechon gets all the same seasonings, but instead of chicken, they're loading this baby up with a mountain of crabs and shrimp. It's so interesting seeing shrimps inside. I arrange the crabs. Are the crabs alive? Uh, yeah. Poor guys, what a way to go. So, hey, quiet down. Oh God, it's they're staging a protest. They were friends of the pig. <laughs> guys, guys, guys. Net, net, net. Good, thank you. Good talk, good talk. All right, I handled that. I'm sorry you had to see that side of me, but I think we're okay to keep going now. We're gonna Close. sew it up? Yes. Oh God, the crabs. <laughs> oh, no. Being boiled alive inside of a pig, that's a unique way to go. This pig is a uh, native in the Philippines, so they eat fruits, vegetables. Oh. This, yeah. Whenever somebody's getting this pig, it's a it's a celebration. Are we gonna be eating with some people today too? Yes. Okay, yeah. I would like to share the celebration with other people too, but not those geese. Mm -hmm. They don't get any. <laughs> This is soy sauce? Soy sauce and the seasoning. Which seasonings? Secret. <laughs> oh! So we've got this soy-based sauce with some secret seasonings inside, and he is just rubbing it down. It's like he's giving an oil massage to his girlfriend yeah. after a long day at work. <laughs> When you put the soy sauce on, what does that do? Number one, the, the color of my lechon, and then the, the crispy. Which part is the most favorite of yours? Here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so from here, we're gonna throw it on the fire. Once the lechon hits the coals, it'll roast for about two hours. While we wait, Brand is taking me to one of his favorite food hideaways. Delicacies in Digo City, we call poto, like glutinous rice and coconut milk factory. Wow, so right now we're headed to a factory and we're gonna find out what that's all about. This roadside factory sits next to a busy highway between two cities. Drivers can swing by for some quick window service, shelling out a few pesos for this delicious local favorite. 
brand's right-hand man, Genesis, is gonna walk me through how they make bibinka. Bibinka is a rice cake. It's made of powdered rice with coconut milk and coconut spaghetti. They in put the, all that in one dish? Yeah. This is the spaghetti here? Yeah, coconut oh. spaghetti. I like your spaghetti. It looks nice. <laughs> and then what was he doing over here? This one is for the coconut milk. He's putting it inside the net and then they're going to produce the milk out of it. Oh man, I have never seen anything like this. <laughs> Holy crap, that is how you make homemade <laughs> coconut milk. Yes. Here we have the fresh milk from the coconuts. Here we go. Whoa, that is one of the best things I've ever experienced. It has all the coconut essence, so fresh, incredibly creamy and fatty. Can I take some home? Right here, this whole vat is yeah. kind of rice cake batter in here. The coconut milk is being mixed here already. So they mixed coconut milk and rice together. Yes. And that will cook later, that will become kind of a bread? A rice cake. A rice cake, yeah. a rice cake, not a bread. We've got the leaf, we've yeah. got the spaghetti inside, yeah. and then the rice batter that's mixed with the coconut milk, and that's all together. How many do you make every day? 1,000. 1,000 pieces every day. Oh my gosh. Inside here, it's surrounded by burning coconuts. It's like the circle of coconut life in there. Coconuts on the inside, coconut husk on the outside, making it burn. When you said factory, I didn't imagine this kind of factory, but they really have each station in this small area. All these people are coming together to make this happen. It's a beautiful thing, and I can't wait to try this. Delia Binkahan has been dishing out the goods for over 20 years, usually selling four cakes at a time for 20 pesos. And with demand this high, it's easy to see why this family-run business never stops moving. Oh, look at this beauty. It's so hot. It's really hot, but it's nice. I can feel it's kind of fluffy, doughy, and I just take a big bite. Mmm. Let me. So tender, steamy, doughy, and that fresh coconut in there. Ma'am, yes. thank you so much for this experience. Thank you too. Salamat. Do you know what this makes me hungry for? What? A pig with seafood in it. With anticipation building, we head back to Brands to witness the final product, starting with his chicken stuffed lechon. I noticed you made some like flower arrangement out of the ears. Is that on purpose? Yeah. yeah. That's how you will know that it's red. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna just rip off this ear. Let's try it together. That's a crispy ear. Now we're gonna reveal the chicken inside. Off with the head, go down the spine. Oh, you can just hear that crazy crispy skin. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see this. Whoa, that is like a work of art, man. Two chickens inside. That is insane. This is just like a flavor masterpiece here. We've got one more, the seafood lechon. Oh, look at all that seafood inside. It looks like these sea creatures took over this animal, but they also look yummy. So this is ready to eat? Yes. Let's eat. Yeah. For me, in the Philippines, lechon is a symbol of celebration, and today we are celebrating food innovation with my man, Brand, yeah. coming strong with the chicken stuffed lechon, with the seafood stuffed lechon, and the only thing left to do right now is enjoy. So guys, let's eat. I'm gonna just grab some more skin. It's still crispy, so crunchy. <laughs> oh my lord. Is the skin your favorite too? Yeah. What is a nice piece of meat? The belly. Oh wow. Look at that. Beautifully mm. fatty, tender. And this is your own <laughs> vinegar. Yeah. Deep. Spicy and coconut white. Wine? Yeah. Great. So it gets you a little drunk too. Mmm. <laughs> Yummy. The perfect amount of spice. It really like wakes you up a little bit. Let's get some of that chicken. Let's try it. Oh, this is the porkiest tasting chicken I've ever had. Is it good? Oh, he's got the whole leg there. Is this a crispy pata? <laughs> yeah. Yo, this guy knows how to eat. Can you just rip off a leg like that? Wow. Guys, it's a whole leg. Mmm. Wow. It's so rich, it's so fatty. It's absolutely delicious. Okay, so we've got a shrimp here. Put this little shrimpy into the vinegar. Let's try it out. Oh, so yummy. And how do you eat a crab? I don't even know how to eat a little mud crab like this. Those are gills, right? Yeah. Do you eat the gills? No. Oh, that little bit of meat yeah. there. 
Oh. It's not a lot of meat, but the meat has so yeah, much sauce. flavor. Yeah, yeah. It's sweet, just so naturally sweet, and it feels like it picked up some of the oils from the pig. Seafood and pig, is, they're best friends, I'm telling you. <laughs> Lechon is a kind of symbol for community. It's food that's meant to be shared. It brings people together for the only good reason people should come together to feast. Bren, I just want to say thank you so much for this experience. Yes. You are the Thomas Edison of Lechon, so my pleasure. For you guys, this video was made possible by One Trip Vietnam. One Trip is the highest rated tour company in Vietnam, doing tours from north to south. Right now in Hanoi, Da Nang, Hoi An, and Saigon, you can experience food tours, adventure tours, and more. For more information on One Trip, check out the links in the description down below. I will see you next time. A piece! Nailed it! <laughs> Let's eat!